y'all, this is Chani here from the China Show, and whoa, what a legendary day in the IE. You already know I'm from the IE, I always start the IE, but we literally have a legend today. We have Hit Boy over here at Green Chambers right now, giving out his Hit Boy OG, and you know I got the exclusive interview. Stay tuned. So I'm over here at Green Chamber, standing here with the legendary Hit Boy from the IE. How you feeling? Man, I'm solid, man. Green Chamber showed dumb love. A lot of people came out, copped the Hit Boy OG. It was solid. What would you say is the type of high that you get when you are smoking the Hit Boy OG? <clears throat> I call it personally a creative high because I made it for creatives. Like, if you don't want to be too slumped, but you want to feel good and just stay working so you don't fall asleep. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one of those. Okay, so do you have like personally like a whole little bowl of things that you wouldn't like actually give to a big artist, but something that you want to keep personally? Nah, not really. Like, <clears throat> the songs that I make for myself, I usually like make them on the spot. Like, as soon as I make the beat, I write the song. So it kind of like writes itself. Like, I don't like to sit there and think about it too much when it comes to my own stuff. Like, as soon as I make the beat, I just gotta go. When do you know when a beat is like finalized? I mean, it's uh, it's like a collective thing between myself and the artist because I might feel like it's done and then the artist like, nah, we need to add this. Like, I literally just did this. I'm working, uh, I'm helping Game with his album, The Game, and uh, <clears throat> the album's called Drillmatic been doing a bunch of songs with him and I thought the song you know was done and last night he came in with a third verse and it just elevated it to a new level so it happens in multiple ways okay so from the double XL interview that I did see you talked about consistency being like the main part of you winning a Grammy. Well, how does that feel, to, especially being from the city over here in IE? No, it's love. I mean, regardless, you know what I'm saying? I just like grew up idolizing most of these people like Jay-Z, like Nas, like Kanye, and not even thinking that I would be able to be in that realm and just for them to accept me, rock with me, like my music, like me, it's just still. And then the fact of you having Nas, like, hey, with the IE weather, I'm like, that kind of was like legendary. I mean, I'm from Riverside, but That's like. definitely legendary. You got the Queens Bridge legend Nas, man, shouting out the inland. Like, you know, it's something that you just wouldn't think about happening ever. So when you were talking to Nas, how did you phrase the IE to him? I told him it's in the cut, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dope people from out here, but it's in the cut and uh, that, you know, survive. So we have six months left of 2022, which is really crazy. What do you have planned and what are you finna drop? I'm dropping music every month. I just dropped a single with uh, Dom Kennedy, a courtesy of half a mil single called Corsa that I produced. Me and Dom going crazy on there and it's a wave. So I'm dropping music like for the rest of the year, every month. When you are dropping this music every month and with all these different artists, what does it take for somebody to be able to work with you on like a full-fledged like album, like the way that you did with Nas? I mean, it takes a natural, organic, uh, just combination. Like it gotta just be working. Like we can't really force the idea or be like, oh yeah, we about to just make this album. Like we just gotta get in, make the songs. And as we keep making them, we'll know for a fact that it needs to be an album. And then is there any artists that you are looking to want to work with? I actually, I do want to work with Kodak Black. Like that's probably my favorite rapper from this era. So that's probably the one person I would say that I want to lock in with. No, I appreciate you, Hip Boy. Thank you so much for coming out to Green Chamber. It was an amazing yeah. turnout. You have so many people here for the meet and greet for the Hip Boy OG. I yeah. know I appreciate it so much. Yo, yo, it's Hit Boy, shout out to China Show.